good day to you, sir. We are here to present to you our case study number 11, Construction of Box Culvert here in the Philippines. This is a presentation for CE428 or Water Resources Engineering, Section 50123, Adamson University, College of Engineering, uh, Civil Engineering Department. So, good day to you, so, uh, Dr. Thomas Ganeron. So, first I would like to introduce to you the presenters. First is Abu Bakar Noral Den. Uh, we have Bautista Sanderson, Magalit, Carlo Miguel, and yours truly, uh, Joseph Samuel Rosario. Here are the contents of this presentation. For the part one, we have the short background on just a short introduction or some slight differences to other things on Culvert, and that would be reported by me, by yours truly, Rosario. Part 2, Why Construct Box Culvert in the Philippines? These are the reasons why Box Culvert is being introduced here in the Philippines on, or why Box Culvert is chosen to be constructed here in the Philippines. So, um, this will be reported by Mr. Abu Bakar. We have next the Part 3, The Problems Encountered on Box Culvert Construction, reported by Mr. Magalit. On this particular part, we will we will talk about the different problems encountered during the construction of a uh, box culvert here in the Philippines, of course. And last, we have the part four: How are these problems resolved? This will be reported by Mr. Bautista. So basically, part four will just answer on how are the how the problems in part three are being resolved. So, first we have the short background. Box culvert, it is a tunnel which carries a stream of water under a road or a railway. Um, it may act as a bridge to allow vehicles to pass on it. So, um, box culvert, for me as a person who has a province in Northern Luzon, we usually traverse the North Luzon Expressway and the National Highway along Tarlac and Pangasinan or even in La Union or the zigzag road heading up to Baguio City. Um, on my younger days, whenever we travel to Baguio, we us I usually see this um, concrete pipe that are embedded along the way or even under the highway. So I thought to myself way back then that these are just canals. But now I have the knowledge and I have learned that those particular things are called culverts. So, you can really commonly see a culvert, especially in province, because um, there are a lot of farms there, there are a lot of streams of waters, but due to the development of our country, um, national highways are being built, but highways should be in a, ma should be in a straight manner construction, not on a zigzag manner. So that's why it traverses or it intercepts a lot of streams and even irrigation channels. So that's why they consider building culvert in order to let the streams of water to pass through. Next one, we have the culvert versus a drainage. So basically culvert is the material used to construct a drainage. So if you can recognize um, those um, little those concrete, those some sometimes they are large, sometimes they are small. Those um, concrete pipe that are being used to construct a drainage, especially below a sidewalk, those are culverts. And especially here in Manila, um, they really choose to construct box culverts. Um, they are commonly um, seen along a road or under a sidewalk, and even I think the. San Marcelino Bridge in Adamson University, if you could see it, under that bridge, it is a culvert. It is a, um, a semicircle culvert. So, let's take a look on this image. If a culvert is parallel on the road, then it is used as a drainage or alongside the road. But if a culvert is perpendicular on the road or transverse a road, then it is just called as a culvert. Next, we have the cool, um, I mean, this is some examples of our image. So this is a box culvert used as a drainage. 
you can see it is alongside or somehow parallel along the road and we have on this side a box culvert at um, some workers are declogging a box culvert which is under a sidewalk Cul culvert versus a uh, bridge a culvert is considered a bridge basically and it's called a culvert bridge but a culvert bridge has a span um, great um, less than six meters only because greater than six meters is another type of bridge so basically um, a culvert is a bridge so the next part will be why construct box culvert and this will be reported by Abu Bakar thank you construct box culvert being one of the fastest growing country in the world the government need to adapt and keep up on the fast changing way of living of every filipinos as part of development industrialization and modernization of roads structure food transport and way of living is evolving these are some of the government's plan which involve box culvert to resolve such problems encountered along the modernization of this country flooding since population is growing, especially in dense cities like Manila, flooding becomes an issue since canals and storm waterway become more narrow due to developments and reclamations. In addition to that, small canals cannot accommodate a large volume of water. Box culverts are used to allow a large volume of water to pass through and make its way to rivers to minimize the chance of having flood, especially during heavy rainstorms. Traffic Together with the development of a country, more volume of vehicles are occupying the road, narrow road, result to low capacity, and therefore, long line of traffic is produced. Road widening is one solution, but in some cases, it could result to narrowing of canals beside a road. Box Colbert allows the widening of a road, and at the same time, improving the storm canals or drainage. Connecting roads. Since a culvert, whether it, it is a box or not, is considered as a bridge, but in remote areas such as in provinces, there are a lot of roads crossing streams of water to avoid accident and vehicles that will pass through the stream and to prevent disruption of the stream. Culverts are built to allow passage of vehicles and therefore linking roads. Irrigation. Philippines has a lot of area for agricultural farming similar with the bridge system to provide a good irrigation system without disrupting crossing traffic box culverts are used to allow passage of traffic above an irrigation system <music> So good morning, I am Carlo Magalit and I am going to discuss with you the common problems encountered on box culvert construction here in the Philippines. The first one is dirty work. We all know that construction of any structure could be a big mess. Construction of box culverts are no different. Before construction, all of sediments, grease, and sewer particles needs to be cleaned up since all these pollutants could affect the health and safety of workers. This could also affect the time of construction, especially if construction didn't foresee any cleanup beforehand. In connection with the first one, a second problem we encounter on the box covered construction is clogging. Sadly, this is a common problem in the Metro Manila area where citizens usually throw their trash anywhere. Rainwater will bring all those solid waste and will accumulate in the box culverts. Whatever the reason, may it be lack of discipline or the poor implementation of the law, this hinders box culvert construction since time needs to be allotted for cleaning and declogging. Another common problem is the traffic. Construction box culvert usually resides on busy streets and construction will most likely will be a huge part of the road 
thus resulting heavy congestion of vehicle traffic. A problem of constructed box culverts is that it can collapse. Box culverts, like I mentioned ago, are used as drainage and can be located under roads. If heavy vehicles passes above box culverts when they're not supposed to due to their heavy loads, it will collapse. How are the problems resolved? Dirty work problem resolution. Concrete nowadays are being analyzed by specialists in order to come up a solution that will have a less impact on the pollution to the environment. For the workers' safety, machines are being used in order to avoid the workers to have a more frequent direct contact with the particles accumulated on cleaning the canals. Certain permits and inspections are done for a particular construction site in order for it to comply with the requirements of a safe, environmental-friendly, and organized place of work. Clogging Problem Resolution As per the Constitution and the Law and the Code, every structure must have their own sewer tank for a treatment area wherein their wastewater will be cleaned first before releasing it to the drainage. Establishments that are not complying to this law are forced to be closed. For littering, the local government units exert their effort to prohibit citizens on their jurisdiction on littering. The Clogging Problem Resolution The Metro Manila Development Authority conducts their declogging measures of a certain drainage to avoid flooding. These are done by the use of their machines and tools to recover the particles clogging a certain box culvert. Traffic Problem Resolution Vehicles are informed to where they should pass to avoid the construction ahead. This is called traffic rerouting or providing alternate routes. Collapse Problem Resolution Heavy vehicles are being notified not to pass a certain road by posting signs on streets, but instead take an alternate route wherein those roads are capable of holding heavy loads. Music